welcome to Art Creates Hope, a channel made to encourage creativity and positivity during this uncertain time. In today's video, we'll be learning about the Rainbow Art Challenge and creating our own rainbow art. Today's featured artist is you! Children, families, and people all across the United States have been participating in creating their own works of rainbow-themed art. These artworks can be found on doors, windows, garages, driveways, and sidewalks. They are simply meant to make people smile as they take a walk for some fresh air, make a trip to the grocery store, or even head out to work for the day. Families have also been participating in rainbow hunts, taking photos of rainbow art and seeing how many they can collect in their neighborhood. Today's project is to create a hanging rainbow banner. We'll walk you through it step by step. By the end of the video, you will have the skills and materials to create your own rainbow banner. This can be hung up in a doorway, window, or outside your home. If you can, remember to display your rainbows for others to enjoy as they walk by. Let's look at the materials you'll need. To create the rainbows, you will need two paper plates or a piece of cardboard and a circular object to trace. If you need a tracer, think of what you can use. You'll also need a pencil, a pair of scissors, and glue, but that's optional. To color in your rainbows, you will need at least one of the following crayons, colored pencils, markers, paints, magazines and colored paper that you can use for a collage. You will need a couple things to help you hang up your work. Any kind of string will do. And painter's tape if you do not have an easy spot to tie your banner to. The first step is to create our rainbow shapes. Take your paper plates and fold them in half. Then cut along the fold. Now you should have four rainbows. If you are using cardboard, grab your tracer and draw two circles on your cardboard. Next, carefully cut out the circles. Just like we did with the plates, you will fold each circle in half, cut along the fold on both circles, and you should have four rainbows. To make these look a little more realistic, take a pencil or any writing tool and draw a small semicircle at the bottom of your plate or cardboard. Then, slowly cut along the line you drew. This gives your rainbows an arc shape. The next step is to draw each stripe. There are seven colors in a rainbow. We can remember this by the acronym Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. To make sure we have all seven colors on our rainbows, we're going to use our writing utensil to draw six dashes on each side of the rainbow. When you connect each dash to the other side, you will make an arc. This should leave you with seven arches. If you mess up, it's okay to erase and try again. Now comes the fun part, adding color. Gather any materials you would like to use this can include crayons, markers, colored pencils, paints, tape, or stickers, paint chips, magazines. The possibilities are endless. We will show you a few different options. Before you start, you can take a moment to pause the video and put on your favorite music or podcast while you work. This can make the process even more relaxing and enjoyable. First, let's start with regular old coloring. You can color with any of these supplies. We're gonna start with crayon. A helpful tip is to write each color in its place using Roy G. Biv, so you don't forget. Let's start with red. Then work our way to the inside of the rainbow. You can repeat this coloring process with your other supplies if you would like. Here's what our marker version looks like. Another great way to add color is by using found materials and paper to make a collage. We've gathered up some colored papers and magazines to use. If you have any paint chips around the house, these are great too. You will also need glue. You can cut out different shapes from the colored paper. And you can look for images in your magazines that match each color. 
Start by cutting out images that you like with the color red in them. Then repeat for each color in the rainbow. Once you have enough material cut out to cover each color in your rainbow, you can start to glue. You may have to cut down your original pictures into smaller pieces to fit inside each stripe. Try experimenting with layering one shape or image on top of another. Here's what our rainbow looks like when we use paint. The final step of our project is to string each rainbow together. To create holes for the strings, you can use a hole puncher if you have one. Just punch one hole near the top in between the red and orange stripes on each rainbow. If you don't have a hole puncher, scissors will do the trick. Create a small fold where you want each hole to go. Then make two small cuts that create an X shape over this fold. Grab your ribbon or string and any tape you have access to. Cut a piece of string that's long enough to hang all of your rainbows on, plus enough extra to give us some breathing room between the rainbows. String the ribbon through each hole, tying a knot every time to keep your rainbows in place. And there you have it, our finished rainbow banner. Now it's time to hang up your beautiful work. You can tie the top of the string if your windows or doors allow that. Or you can use a few small pieces of tape to hang it like we did. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed making rainbow art with us. Want to get connected with Art Creates Hope? Join our Google Classroom by signing in and entering our class code, K-A-6-A-H-P-Y. Here, you can share your artwork with us and have access to additional arts resources, like discussion questions, demo videos, and more. Remember to leave us a comment and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another art lesson. See you soon!